Hello and welcome to the Daily Bible Podcast. My name is William Hemsworth. Thank you so much for joining me for today's episode. Well, today's pretty exciting. Today we're going to continue and we're going to finish Matthew chapter 5. So that means tomorrow we're going to move into Matthew chapter 6. We're making progress through the Gospel of Matthew. But in today's passage, we see a continuation of yesterday's passages, where Jesus is calling us to a higher standard of conduct, a higher standard of conduct to those who do us wrong, to those who persecute us, to those who Jesus calls our enemies. So today in Matthew chapter 5, we're going to look at verses 45 through 48, which say, So that you may be children of your Father in heaven. For he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the righteous and on the unrighteous. For if you love those who love you, what reward does, what reward do, do you have? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet only your brothers and sisters, what more are you doing than others? Do not even the Gentiles do the same? Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. So if you recall yesterday, we read uh, Matthew 5, verses 43 through 44, where Jesus says, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Like I said, this is a continuation of what Jesus is saying here. So, you know, Jesus says, he mentions sons of your father. Okay. Okay. This goes back to a saying that I'd like to say. Those who've been forgiven much should be quick to give it. How often have we as Christians who've been forgiven for so many things hold a grudge against those who've done us harm? Like we won't forgive them at all. Jesus is telling us, you gotta let this stuff go. Those who have received that unmerited grace unmerited grace that Christ gives should reflect the kindness that they've been given even if they're undeserving even if those other people are undeserving remember the grace that we've been given was unmerited we don't deserve it we don't we need to show that grace, that mercy, that kindness that we've been given to others. That's what Jesus is telling us to do. He's calling us to do that. So later on, Jesus says, be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect. Like, oh my gosh, Jesus is calling us to be perfect. There's no way. There's absolutely no way that I could do that. Well, I know I can't. I'm not perfect. I screw up every day. But that's the standard that God has for us. That's the standard. The standard that God demands of his people is his own character. God's perfection includes love, mercy, compassion. And it echoes echoes a passage in, Levit- in Leviticus. Um, in the book of Leviticus, Try to find it real quick. In the book of Leviticus, God tells his people to be perfect as they are perfect. And it's echoed again in, I believe it's the first book of Peter. Yeah, so it echoes Leviticus 19, verse uh, chapter 19, verse 2. Where God is calling his people to holiness. Alright, so... The perfection that Jesus is talking about is holiness, love, mercy. It doesn't mean that we're not going to mess up. He He knows that. That's why he came. He came for the specific reason that we cannot get to heaven on our own merits and that he had to bridge a gap, if you will, by dying on the cross and taking our sins upon himself. Okay? So thank you for joining me on this episode of the Daily Bible Podcast. I hope it was helpful. Uh, There's so much to unpack in these verses. I could probably do an hour-long show on it, but that's not the format of this show. Um, 
As always, if you enjoy the show, please share it, please rate it. And also, if there's anything I could help you with, any prayer requests, any any prayer requests, please let me know. Um, HopeWithin18 at gmail.com. Please send your request there. Well, God bless you guys. I thank you so much for joining me on today's episode. Have a fantastic day.